Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In our today's video, we will talk about this math problem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here this kind of fraction problem wherein we have 1 over 3 over 1 over 6. So marami sa inyo na kapag na-encounter yung gantong klaseng problem, isipin nyo agad na mahirap yung problem. Trust me, this one is not a difficult one. Again, this one is not a difficult problem para sagutan natin. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Again, we have the problem 1 over 3 over 1 over 6. As you can see in this problem, yung numerator natin is actually a fraction while your denominator is also a fraction. So ang tanong dito, Sir, paano ba natin kailangang isolve or ano bang magiging sagot natin dito? So here's the thing guys. Itong bagay na to is simply dividing fractions. So yung 1 over 3 natin over 1 over 6 is the same as, parehas ang siya nito ah, is the same as 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 6. So ito yung first way or first method na ituturo ko sa inyo. And later on, ituturo ko rin sa inyo yung isa sa mga shortcuts na alam ko para mas abilis natin siya masagutan. So, punta na tayo dito. Again, this problem is the same as 1 third divided by 1 over 6. So, try natin. In dividing fractions, yung step natin, or yung steps natin, una, copy the denominator. Or, sorry. In dividing fractions, yung first step natin is to, you need to copy the first fraction. So, that is 1 over 3. Now, this operation from division, it will become multiplication. Next step, this fraction 1 over 6, kailangan mong kunin yung kanyang reciprocal. Yung reciprocal na to, kailangan mo lang pagbalik ta rin or i-flip yung fraction natin wherein yung iyong numerator siya yung magiging bagong denominator. Yung denominator mo, siya ngayon yung magiging bagong numerator. So, ibig sabihin, yung reciprocal ng 1 over 6 is simply 6 over 1. And as you can see, meron na tayong bagong given, which is 1 third times 6 over 1. Which is, pag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, remember ha? Remember that, ang pag multiply natin is from Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So what will happen? It will become 1 times 6, which is 6. 3 times 1, which is equal to 3. And remember, this one is a fraction. Ibig sabihin, we need to express our final answer in lowest terms. In which, 6 over 3 or 6 divided by 3 is the same as 2. Ibig sabihin, natin yung tamang sagot natin. Okay? And gaya nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, we are done with method number 1. Let us proceed with method number 2. Ito yung pangalawang, step, pangalawang method natin. Yung pangalawang method natin ay ganito lang siya kadali. Una, punta tayo dito sa problem na to. And i-multiply natin itong dalawang to. Yung 6 and 1. So itong dalawang to ha, multiply natin sila. Multiply. Ito yung una natin first. Okay? 1 times 6, and the answer is 6. Second natin, itong dalawang to. Multiply natin sila, times, and then itong second natin, 3 times 1, that is equal to 3. Ayan ngayon yung magiging bagong denominator natin. So as you can see, nakuha ko ngayon yung 6 over 3, and 6 divided by 3, or 6 over 3, is the same as 2. So parehas lang naging sagot natin, kahit anong method ang gamitin natin. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung method number 1 and method number 2 natin. Now, it's time for you to answer this problem. What if meron tayo ngayong 1 over 5 divided by 2 over 3? Nasa iyo kung anong method ang gusto mong gawin. Is it the method number 1 or method number 2? Bye-bye!